Kyle, you had one job. Thank you. 
And who gives this woman to this man? Would you all please pray with me? Father, we thank you so much for a day that is so beautiful. <laughs> for a time to just celebrate life, love, family, and fellowship. I pray that as we would just honor you in this moment, that you would shine upon us. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. You guys can be seated. Uh, as at the request of the bride and groom, uh, they wanted to make sure that these nuptials were super toit. Um, so they decided to go a different route than normal. <laughs> Yay! And I thought, why not join in on the party? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Well done. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Why not? I'll take them. All right. So everyone knows those couples, those grouping of people that when you look at them, you just have to ask the question, how did he trick her into this? <laughs> That's not the case with Pete and Ashley. Over the course of our actual friendship, them being employees, co-workers, amazing people, I've gotten to learn their story. I've gotten to rejoice in their love and know that they are the perfect people for each other. It is also Pete and Ashley's desire that this day not only be a day that fans their love into flame, but any couple here to feel that incredible love welling up inside of you and know that it is the best thing in the world. Pete and Ashley are an amazing couple, and I am honored to stand here with them. Now it's time for a little bit of a soupy stuff. Are you ready for it? <laughs> I guess. 1 Corinthians 13, starting in verse 4, says, Love is patient. Love is kind. Love's, love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor each other. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. The interesting thing about this verse, or these verses, is that none of them have to do with feeling. It's all about action. Love is a verb, and it's meant to move us. It's meant to actually have action behind it. That's not to say that emotions aren't important, but they are the reward, not the pursuit of what love truly is. To truly be a symbol of hope and love in this world is something that this world desperately needs, and I'm honored to say that you guys both have. It's an honor to stand in front of you guys. Now it comes to the fun part. Right? Yeah. Can I please have the ring? Perfect. All right. Pete, I want you to hold on to this ring and look at your lovely bride. And I want you to repeat after me. Sorry, I got my pages all jumping. Good. 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 I, Peter Schnitzer, I, Peter Schnitzer, give you this ring. Give you this ring as a sign of our love. As a sign of our love. Of our commitment to each other. Of our commitment to each other. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. Care for you. Stand alongside of you. Stand alongside of you. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. You can put the ring on her finger. I got the big ring. I got the big one. I got the big one. And can I have the other ring? <laughs> Now, Ashley, in the same way, would you repeat after me? I give you this ring as a sign of our love. I give you this ring as a sign of our love. And I commit each day to you. I commit each day to you. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. Care for you. And stand alongside of you. And stand alongside of you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you can slide that ring under. <laughs> Fantastic. Now looking at each other, as I present this priestly charge to you, this is the final vow as a husband makes to his wife. Pete, 
Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to provide for her, lead her in good times and bad, through sickness and health, trials and tribulations, whether you have redheaded kids or not? <laughs> Hopefully. Now as like long it. as you both shall live. I do. And Ashley, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold, to be there for him in good times and bad, and in case you have redheaded kids for all the days of your life. I do. Before we do the final funness, I'm going to allow them to just kind of stand against this altar. This altar is a beacon to what is truly magnificent about a wedding in this scenario. Yes, Pete and Ashley are one and the same, and they're committed to each other, but they are also committed to God, and that involves all three of them in this marriage. And they wanted to take time and make sure that God was honored in this moment. So, Pete, Ashley, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Peter Schnitzer. I think you guys can go now. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to thank all the family and friends for coming in today. As the family exits, please allow them a chance to exit, and then y'all are welcome to join us for a reception in the barn. Thank you so much for coming in. Are you, are you legit? Are you, yeah, I mean, 100%. So, yeah. So, so this is real. <laughs> yeah, this, this is real. Is not, like, this is a real thing. You're yeah. not Peter's friend. Or... No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>